Hello, my name is Travis Smith. I'm an instructor at Health One EMS. I am here to talk to you about intranasal medication administration. I will complete the demonstration with Narcan. Check your protocols for approved intranasal medications in your system. As you can see, we have a box of Narcan, a mucosal atomization device, and a syringe. We will also want to make sure we have our approved BSI and access to medical control. Local protocols require medical direction contact before an EMT can administer Narcan. Once the order from the physician has been received, you can move on to the next step. Let's talk for a moment about the indications for Narcan administration. The primary use of Narcan is to reverse narcotic overdoses that result in respiratory depression. You also frequently see Narcan given to patients who are comatose, have an altered mental status, or seizing due to an unknown cause in order to rule out narcotic overdose. Prior to administering any medication, we do our best to try and find out if the patient has any allergies. This may be difficult in the unconscious patient. Try looking for a medical alert bracelet or ask bystanders and family members. We also want to be certain no contraindications or incompatibilities exist. We want to check our medication and ensure it is not expired, is the proper concentration and dose, and is not cloudy or discolored. As with all medications, we have to ensure patient safety by checking the five rights before administration. The five rights are the right patient, the right medication, the right dosage and concentration, right time, and right route. The right patient is generally straightforward in EMS, but can get complicated with multiple patients. The right medication is Narcan. The right dose depends on the age of the patient. An adult dosage is 2 mg, while a child under 8 years old is 1 mg. Remember, Narcan is a drug that causes a sudden reversal of narcotics. This can result in people vomiting, seizing, and becoming very combative. You may want to restrain these patients ahead of time to prevent injury to them, you, or others. I would recommend at a minimum to have the patient on your stretcher and the belt applied before you administer the medication. Okay, so we have determined the patient requires Narcan in order to reverse their depressed respirations and have decided to administer it by the intranasal route. We will now want to assemble the medication and the mucosal atomization device. The atomizer screws onto the end of the Narcan syringe like this. Next we will insert the atomizer into the nostril and administer the medication in a fast push manner. This will force the medication through the atomizer, creating a fine mist inside the nostril and improving absorption. Generally, we do not want to administer more than one milliliter per nair. Now we wait. You will have to continue providing ventilations and any other care you are performing while waiting for the medication to take effect. If after five minutes nothing has changed, you can administer a second dose. Check with your local protocols. We have to constantly be reassessing how the patient is doing. They may wake up quickly, so be ready. Regardless of how well the patient wakes up, they will need to be transported to the hospital. Narcan only lasts about 45 minutes, while most of the narcotics last for hours. The Narcan could wear off, causing the patient to fall back into a coma. These patients typically need to be monitored for hours before they are out of danger. Finally, make sure you document the care you provided. You need to state what medication, how much, how you administered it, and when. Administration of Narcan can be a life-saving technique in the comatose or altered patient. Remember to review the five R's before you administer the medications and be prepared for a violent patient when the drugs take effect. Good luck and be safe.